but somehow Greg Abbott and to a far lesser extent the bus company which has obviously been hired and manipulated by the political regime they are at fault here this is through the roof what is up my name is Eric this channel is called report and opine I am back this of course is the epicenter for all of your current and captivating coastal elite chaos so please hit that subscribe button like the video ring the notification bell leave a comment or two share this with a friend let's go So here we have a video of America's mayor, Eric Adams, addressing the migrant crisis, the asylum seeker crisis in New York City. And believe me, he doesn't want to close the border. He doesn't want to fix the problem. He just wants more money. I need more money from the federal government. But since I know that they are not going to cough it up, I am going to sue the bus company and blame Texas Governor Greg Abbott. From New York City, Mayor Eric Adams himself, the B-grade, the cut-rate Tracy Morgan, he says, New York City has and will continue to do our part in the asylum seeker crisis. Bro, that ship sailed. Everybody sees through it. And the more you say asylum seeker, the more you look like a completely dishonest scumbag. But it's par for the course at this point. It continues. But we can't bear the cost alone. And we won't let those complicit in governor abbott yeah it's governor abbott right yeah okay you already tried to talk to president bo jiden about it he told you to kick rocks and now you're blaming it on texas governor greg abbott meanwhile you're putting up all these illegals in hotels you're letting them drive around illegally on scooters feeding them food trying to feed them food that they're throwing out it's all completely despicable anyways and we won't let those complicit in Governor Abbott's scheme to get away with violating our state's laws. Wait, wait, wait. So Governor Greg Abbott of Texas, who whatever you can call him an establishment hack, uniparty shield, but he is violating your state's laws, but he's completely ignoring the laws of the entire country. We're seeking approximately $700 million from 17 charter bus companies that transported migrants to New York City without paying to care for them. We'll see you in court. Learn more about the legal action we're taking to combat this reckless political ploy from the state of Texas. Bro. Let's just watch the clip. New York City has and will continue to do our part to manage this humanitarian crisis. That you were instrumental in creating. We can bring up the old tweets of you saying we are going to remain a sanctuary city. And then, and then, you know, him and his ilk getting mad when the billboards popped up in El, in El Paso, Texas, I believe, saying that you were a sanctuary city. Sa San Francisco is a sanctuary city. You got mad when they literally just amplified your message out of their own pocket. Presumably, presumably they put up the billboards to let all the illegals or as you might call them, asylum seekers know that you would give them free stuff. Large billboards with strong messaging have been going up across El Paso. On one side, it says these cities welcome immigrants, and the other says they're paid for by SanctuaryCities.com. I visited the website. There, they define Sanctuary City, but it also says these cities offer ample social services, health care, and diverse and tolerant people, something that the deputy director of the Opportunity Center for the Homeless says is misleading. It's implying that a large number of resources are available to the migrants if they make it there. And then you, I mean. But we cannot bear the course of reckless political ploys. Yeah, it's about money, right? It's not about destroying country and completely ignoring the laws. It's about money. From the state of Texas alone. Today, our administration filed a lawsuit against 17 companies that have taken part in Texas Governor Greg Abbott's so you try to get the attention of Bo Jiden. Maybe you try to get the attention of some other, you know, big city mayors or some state governors. And now you are turning your 
your attention to the bus company and sure they are complicit in it but come on bro that's that's a long way down the ladder meanwhile there's thousands millions hundreds of thousands or whatever illegals at the border they're being flown all around they're showing up at the phoenix airport i mean this is just despicable scheme to transport tens of thousands of migrants to new york city in an attempt to overwhelm our social services system these companies have violated state law by not paying bro this guy can barely even read how did you and the cost of caring for these migrants and that's why we're why why does new york as much as i can't stand them why do they have to pay for the migrants right and, and like i always say with the transformer agenda that's sort of a mind thing they're trying to mind control you and brainwash you this is completely different it's a existential threat as they like to say these people are showing up and demanding that you give them what you have and half of it they don't even want they're throwing away the uncrustables right outside the row hotel are suing to recoup approximately 700 million dollars already spent to care for migrants bust here in the last two years by the state of texas Governor Abbott's continuing use of migrants as political pawns is not only chaotic and inhumane, but makes clear he puts politics over people. Today's lawsuit should serve as a warning to all those who break the law in this way. Oh, so he wants this lawsuit to serve as a, an attention getter, whatever he said, to people who break the law, right? So the bus company's breaking the law. Governor Abbott's breaking the law, but the people who are hopping the border and swimming across the river, they're not breaking the law at all. Woosah, woosah, woosah. Woosah, woosah, woosah. Woosah, woosah. This is pathetic, and it is a clear sign that they are trying to subvert the laws of the country to, I guess, import more Democratic voters, but who knows what's really going on. You could talk about trafficking dope, trafficking people, across a wide open border but somehow greg abbott and to a far lesser extent the bus company which has obviously been hired and manipulated by the political regime they are at fault here this is through the roof and without being too hyperbolic it's treasonous